Warriors middleweight division. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner and representing Morocco, Fadridin Tiani. First, the fighter on my left fighting out of the blue corner. He is a combat sabo specialist, standing six foot two inches tall, weighing in at 84.35 kilos. His record two wins and zero defeats. Fighting out of Casablanca, Morocco, Fadridine Tayani. And now a 
his opponent. Fighting out of the right corner, he is a kickboxing specialist, standing six foot five inches tall, weighing in at 84.3 kilos. Tonight, he makes his professional debut. Fighting out of Amsterdam, Netherlands, by way of Tunisia, Yusri Begarui. Another great fight to come. Very good fight. Remember when the action begins, striker against a grappler. And this is the heaviest weight you're gonna have tonight. Get away. Yushri, kickboxer, a lot of experience. He fought two times against Israel da Sanya Lúcio in kickboxing match, losing by split decision. But yeah, so this is no joke. He's no joke. That's his debut, but so much experience on striking against the Sambo. African, African combat sambo champion. Another combat sambo from Morocco. Yes. So this is a very interesting fight between two stylists. Two stylists crashing. Yeah. Now it is. Much taller is. Fighter from Tunisia that lives in Netherlands. El Gorui. So, he only should look for the legs to take it down, right? But carefully. Yeah, he, he, he should be smart on that timing. He cannot have any mistakes on trying to approach the takedown. But at the same time, he cannot stay there too long, Lusso. He's, he's facing a very good kickboxer. So. Yeah, split decision, Lusso, actually. Split decision, so. It's definitely no joke. He's doing he's moving a lot. He's not, he's not a, he doesn't stop in front of him. Got the biggest fighters on the card here. I think even bigger than our main event. Middleweight fighters. Tarek Suleiman will be in our main event, our light heavyweight champion. And Bergauri has lost twice to Adesanya by split decision in a kickboxing match. Very well experienced. Very much so. It is never an easy task to fight a striker with that reach, that tall. It's really scary for a grappler. Yeah, just being in the same. Uh, same arena, same fighting area as a guy like Adesanya, that says a lot. Yeah, the referee's telling these guys, let's go, let's fight. They're just showing too much respect. Harry is holding because he's probably scared of takedown from the army. Being a combat somebody special. And the army at the same time is scary of like shooting, you know? So that's why they avoid it. You see, the UFC, Yao Romero against Adesanya was Absolutely. like almost the same. That contrast of styles and Diani, yeah. he just wants to use his strikes to get things to the ground. He's a combat sambo yeah. specialist. He wants this fight on the mats. Exactly. Diani is very small for a middleweight. Not only short in size compared to, to, to Belgado, but very heavy and strong. Yeah, it, it makes it makes a big difference. You're right, short in stature, but not you know not a whole lot of muscle, not a huge frame. The only got a single leg, but Bill Growley using the cage to his advantage. Blake Grice noticed it and yeah. warned him. Del Gary is perfect with the only hooker. He got a very good take down defense side. Very good. I'm sure he trained this a lot. He knows he's a great striker. He knows the opponent's gonna try. Take him down. Now he look like he's gonna get it. Wow, what a 
good throw. Wow. Incredible work here. Very, uh, he has a lot of tools, does Belgarali. And this is going to break his confidence. Like, should perfectly take down the fence right on their back. So. It's important to notice that the only experience in MMA was actually in France. It was a front race event, no hitting on the floor, and it was in 2017. We're not bringing a ton of experience to fight. Of course, besides the fact that he fight Mobad Summer, he's African champion, so he has some experience there. Yeah. Good. Moving right in at the end of the round. And a tough, tough round here to call. Give me your best impressions here, guys. You, you watch that whole round. And uh, Belgaroni, I, I love his fight style he showed us. He has some nice uh, uh, ground game as well with the wrestling. You would think he'd be having a lot more problems with the combat sambo specialist, but I think he handled himself very well. <laughs> As we listen into the corner here of Diani and Belgarilli, we'll take a look at the replay here, guys. Just because he was he did a little bit more damage. Yeah, Belgarilli was a little more effective in his striking with the light kicks, plus two beautiful takedown defense. So most of the time, takedown defense counts for the judge. So... Wiping down Diani. And here we go, we're going to round number two here. These two middleweights throwing down here in the middle of the UAE Warriors cage here at UAE Warriors Arabia. Exclusively Arab fighters on this card. I believe he's gonna keep the same strategy. Keep the distance, throwing light kicks, using his reach. He's a great tool for him. He's a so much longer guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, he oh, no, no, no. grabbed that one. And he went to grab for the cage again, but he didn't hold on to it. And by then it was too late as Bandradine Diani is on top for the first time, really taking advantage of that ground game. Diani just found the perfect time when his opponent showed the knee on the body. He just caught the legs. That's it, easily. Security take the yeah, that's where he wants to be. So. He is so tall inside the guy. It's hard to put the Yeah, don't sleep on Belgarelli. He's already shown us that he's able to scramble a little bit. I would take him out of the cage. I, I, I agree, Lucio. Like, he's not. He should circle him. Take him out of the cage. Also, should do like Khabib and close his legs in the half. Time, right? He tried. Actually, he was trying that for a second, but. He's, be, he's being effective in the control so far, but he's not striking. He's not making damage. Very good that, and that's what I was talking about. Belgarelli, for a guy that's traditionally a striker, he really does have a decent ground game, good defense. And as you can see, he's in a very good spot right now with half of the round still to go. And I just can see Diane is it's that, that, that broke his confidence a little bit. Diane spent so much energy. Now it's so tight now. 
We are trying to control this very, very tall, big guy. Was, wasn't easy. Even with all his Sambo experience, was, usually was able to, to stand up again. And there goes Deani looking for that takedown. He's got that single leg. Yeah. Well, he gave once everything again, for that once one. Once again, he loses the takedown, just lay back like that. So that show he's, he's a bit tired. Belgari should step up back and let him stand up because it doesn't look like he has much energy left to strike with him or even try a takedown. Yeah, it's funny. I just yeah. had an interaction yeah, yeah, yeah. with Blake Grice before the fight, and he talked about how he handles a situation like that. And unless the fighter that's in control on top standing backs up, he'll let him continue to hit those legs as long as he wants, basically. So... It's damage nonetheless, but it, it not, really not that much. The thing is that I see so much potential for Bergauri to finish the fight. As you see that Diani is getting so tired and frustrated with the takedowns attempt. I agree. But he just doesn't pull the trigger. He holds he and he waits and... He's, he's just respecting his ground game, I think. His takedown attempt. But at I, this point of the fight, he's, the fight he's giving too much he respect. Is, yeah. Might be just a matter of time. He saw what happened. He only didn't get much success on the ground. Now he's not able to take down anymore. He should just... Oh, oh good knee there. That was a good... Oh, and he goes right through that was a leg kick. That's a minute. And here comes Tahani again. Hey, good conditioning by both fighters. These guys have great energy right now. They're not breathing hard. They're hanging right in there. Good pace. That's why usually when he's trying to get more confidence and throw more kicks whatsoever, he's getting taken down. So that's why he's still a little bit patient. Belgari has like five times more strikes than uh, once again, Yeah. Once again, he tried the knee. And he gave the single leg to his opponent. So I think in this third round, he will... Be able Yush to finish the fight, you think? sure is going to try to push the pressure a little so, bit more. So, you know, I was just talking about conditioning, and I don't know if you saw there from that angle, but Diani's really feeling it right now. He's, he's, as he's, soon as that round ended, you yeah, could see yeah, the breathing, yeah, yeah. you see it all come down. And no. Blake Grice is watching very, very closely. He wants to make sure he can continue. I mean, he's that exhausted. I, so. I, I could tell that before, Cyrus, when he, he, he lost the takedown, he just lay himself, he just lay his back. I can see he was tired. The only corner is angry. He's urging him to do something because he knows he's behind. Take a look at that replay for round number two, and there was the perfect timing. Downey had some nice takedown, takedown attempts, but Belgauri showed that he can get out of these situations. He's showing a great takedown defense, which for a striker is the, is the perfect game plan. If you can strike him... Blake he... just asked Belgauri to be careful with the front kick, not to hit the... give a low blow to Downey. He's really tall. Even when he throw his knee, his foot might go a bit and overextend it and hit him. Very nice preventive measure from the judge for the referee. Wow, good leg kick there. For a first fight, Belgari is doing very well, but I would like to see him trying to finish the fight a little bit more, considering that he's been finding so much success in his striking, and Diani not so much trying to take the fight yeah, to the ground. That, that's why also he's a little bit afraid, maybe very afraid of the ground. But he has so much experience as a striker. 
But at this point, he has learned that what can happen when he goes to the ground. He has learned that he can defend the takedown. He has learned that the Ani is not very successful there because he's so tall, it's so hard to hit, hit the head when he's down. Now the Ani rushing forward. See, he just looked for uppercut there, but he didn't throw. So, right out of the gate there, it was an accidental eye poke, it looked like from Belgari, but that being said, uh, Deani, I'm sure, is appreciating just a little bit of time to walk it off to get, get, a, get his breath back. Three minutes to go here in the fight. And Belgari, I feel like Belgari should be up on the cards. Guys, where do you think this fight's at right now? Yeah, Belgari is leading the, the, the card for sure. He's much more effective in the striking, taking down the fence, everything. But it's not, not that very easy fight to judge anyway. It's still a very tough fight. Very even. Clash of styles. And the only has recovered well from the from the second round because he's moving side to side, not being you know in front of Belgari to be an easy target. But I would definitely consider moving to the welterweight division if I were him. These both athletes, are, they look pretty small for me to work with. Yeah, he's skinny, though, by the way, right? Yeah, both guys. They, they, both guys look smaller. Very small for me to work with. Yeah. They look like white away, in my eyes. Yeah, just in their frame, I, I gotta agree with you. I mean, neither one of them are, are real big muscular guys. They're not carrying a whole lot of muscle on them, but very big. I mean, six foot five inches tall here is Belgari. Now, Belgari has a, has a frame on him. He's, he's large. He's, not, he's skinny, but he's large. But it's, it's normal. They, they, these two guys, they're just like beginning their career on the pro MMA. So I'm pretty sure they're going to adjust this way. Oh, that one just missed. And look how he clipped him. That head kick, but he didn't get all of it. If he got all of it, he'd go down in a, in a heap. The only corner left. Calling for a strategy. Guara, he's putting a lot of weight in the leg. He's doing a perfect defense. He's sprawling really well. But the only walked forward, and now he's going to use the cage to get closer. Now, what a leg throw. Oh, he grabbed the cage. He's grabbing the cage. Fortunately, the referee missed there, but he grabbed the cage to avoid the takedown. Yeah, that was pretty... Pretty blatant, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how the referee didn't see that. I guess maybe just not enough to actually stop the action and take the point. They hold the, he hold the cage for a long time, yeah. at least for five seconds. The takedown takes a lot of energy. Yes. Oh, Belgar Belgaru is feeling so confident he's winning the fight that he's not willing to let Diani get up. But Blake, Blake stopped the fight there in the right time there to stand them up. Well, we still got 30 seconds here, and you got a very hungry fighter here. And Diani looking for a takedown again, and he's going to get it. Now he got it easy. And away from the cage, it's going to make much harder for Belgari to get up. But even the inside the close guard is so far to hit the head. Wow, he should do this before. He should do this in the beginning of the round. I think what? he ran out of steam at the end of a lot of those rounds. I think he was very, very tired. You can see him doubled over right now, breathing very, very hard. Just so because there just wasn't be a conditioning thing. Just because there wasn't much action, he might be able to have stolen this this round with this takedown, but he lost the first and the second for sure. Yeah, for sure. 
like losing all his takedown attempts, like to be effective in the takedown, you should try to take down near the cage, not in the middle of the cage. So I'm interested to see how the judge saw the fight. I think he just spent a lot of energy. Very good decision. That's all I thought. And